What's up my friends, I'm back for another movie review. I am not going to be doing this review in person, I'm sorry to say. Um, but it's been a really busy week and I really want to get this video out there before I see Deadpool 2. So thank you for your understanding, bear with me for now. Let's get this review started. So today I am reviewing Terminal. Terminal is a thriller directed by first timer Vaughn Steen and starring Margot Robbie. This is an Irish production about this dark, gritty city underworld where it's always nighttime. And here we are introduced to some sort of assassin played by Margot Robbie. She's involved in these two separate storylines that don't really have anything to do with each other other than the fact that they share a common theme of revenge. One storyline has Simon Pegg in it and all his scenes are mostly talking with Margot Robbie in a diner. The other storyline has these two other assassins who are trying to pull off a job given to them by a mysterious crime lord. I was excited to see this movie for two main reasons. First, it's got Margot Robbie and Simon Pegg in it and we both know how big these stars are and we both know how great Margot Robbie is in particular. Particular. Secondly, I knew almost nothing about this movie. I didn't know the premise, I didn't watch any of the trailers or follow any press. I went in completely blind and that feeling is always great when you're about to watch a film. Unfortunately, I left the theater with a not so great feeling. At best, this is a rather boring film with a few redeeming qualities. At worst, it's a major disappointment and a blip on the CVs of almost everyone involved. I think it's best we start with the redeeming qualities. This is a really stylishly shot film. They really wanted to achieve that sort of Sin City feel, but with a lot more neons, a lot of cool blues and greens. I'd say they use the light pretty effectively here. We also see Mike Myers appear for the first time in years. He plays this sort of creepy bumbling cleaner in a train terminal, and he was solid despite being away for so long. To her credit, Margot Robbie is really good in this movie as well. She executes all of her lines almost perfectly and her character always seems to be on top of things. But this is also one of my issues with the movie. You always feel that no matter what scene you're watching, Margot Robbie's character is in full control and everyone else is likely a disaster waiting to happen. This really takes the stakes out of the film entirely and this isn't helped by the fact that the start of the movie is cut in a way that is very jarring. It doesn't build any sort of momentum or meaningful introduction to any of our characters, the pacing falls right through the floor almost immediately, and I just began losing more and more faith in this film as it went on. Honestly, I haven't been this disappointed in the first 30 minutes of a movie since I paid to watch Suicide Squad in IMAX, and unfortunately both films share a common star. The director of this film, Von Steen, was also the assistant director of World War Z, a pretty good film but this is his first film as a solo director and unfortunately it does show quite a bit. He chooses to tell the story in a non-linear way, jumping back and forth between the two storylines, but he couldn't really control the consistency of the mood he wanted us to feel, mostly because there's a lot of walking around and talking in this film. This would be fine if the dialogue was incredible, but it just falls flat most of the time. And if this script was hoping to make some meaningful social commentary on the value of life and the effects of trauma, then I'm sorry to disappoint the writers by saying, I sure as hell didn't get it. The last 10 minutes of this film were really enjoyable, mostly because something interesting actually happened. But by that time, I was already so devoid of interest that I almost wished the movie could just be the last 20 minutes. To be fair, I think the marketing team had a really tough job trying to sell this movie. I think they took a lot of excitement out of the film just by marketing it as a revenge movie. So you sort of already know that at some point, someone is going to take revenge on someone else. But revenge or not, sitting through this film was a pretty uninspiring experience. And that's why I have to give Terminal a 4.8 out of 10. Terminal is streaming on VOD in some countries and showing in theaters in others. However, I don't really recommend you take the time to watch this film. It really doesn't offer that much and um, to her credit, Margot Robbie is good in the movie but I hope that she chooses a better project next time. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more, click the subscribe button. I will be back very soon with my next movie review, so sit tight. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a great rest of the week. Maximum hype and peace out.